Recording started. Hey, sorry about that. I've had some technical issues today, it looks like. So we're on, so my topic is gonna to be sound creation. Hold on a second because I got the game on in the background. Oh, sorry about that. So yeah, sound creation. So uh, it's interesting that uh, Gaia, the Gaia TV network is doing this whole new series called Sound Creation. And I appreciate it. It's awesome information, right? But it's like, I've been talking about this stuff for 25 years now, since 1997, about sound frequency uh, and all the things that sound can do. Um, in fact, there was uh, one of the things that they did not mention, which I'm which I'm really surprised is um, they didn't talk about uh, Dan Carlson's work, uh, Dan or Hans Jen's work, the cymatics. But I'm going to talk a little bit about Dan Carlson. Uh, Dan Carlson uh, was a farmer in Wisconsin, and he came about um, sound healing, sound frequencies through Rife Technology, which is about running a sound wave or a sound beam through a virus, through a cancer cell, causing it to break up because viruses are crystalline in structure. And you know that if you run a really a high pitch frequency through a crystal, it breaks up. Kind of the same thing, the, the virus cell will collapse or it will break up. Uh, Edgar Casey, the famous psychic, said that uh, Pure sounds would be the healing modality of the future. And, you know, there's definitely a lot of interest in sound healing, sound therapy. Um, so it was, I seem to recall that it was for his wife. His wife had a tumor and they, they discovered rife frequencies. Of course, uh, they don't talk a lot about rife technology through the AMA or FDA. Um, and it dissolved her tumor. I, Greg Braden the best-selling author talks about three Chinese Qigong healers who uh, on, on a sonogram, on a, like an X-ray, a live X-ray, uh, use sound and frequency to, to, to dissolve a golf ball sized tumor in a matter of minutes. And it's, he, he's, he's shown that video uh, many times at his lectures and things. So um, Dan Carlson became really interested in sound waves and, and frequencies and what they could do and uh, he found, after, you know, hit and miss and playing around with different things, that when he ran a 4,000 hertz frequency, it was like either 4,000 or 5,000 hertz frequency, through the fields, that they yield, the yield was a 400, 400% greater yield. I didn't say 30 or 40%, but a 400% greater yield in the fields. Uh, he is in the Guinness Book of World Records producing the longest and largest vines that were like over a thousand feet. You know, most vines are like 18 to 24 inches. He's got vines that are over a thousand feet using uh, this 4,000, 5,000 Hertz frequency. Well, I started playing around. I mean, talking about a potential to end world hunger, you know, it's right there. So he um, started playing with frequencies and, and, and discovered that. And then he became fascinated with things of nature. This kind of connects with Han Jen's work of cymatics. Uh, Hans Jen would he would run a sound wave through like a, a butterfly, a flower, you know whatever it may be, and he'd have like these uh, filings, like uh, metal filings on a magnetic plate or a, a glass plate, and each one would produce a very specific uh, geometric pattern. Well. Dan discovered that when birds sing in the morning, they are singing at that four or 5,000 hertz rate. So birds are literally uh, singing life into the planet every morning. Uh, when um, crickets chirp, they chirp at about 2,000 uh, hertz. And so they're literally closing everything down at night. So everything is based on rhythms, patterns, energy, frequency, all that stuff. Um, so that's, I mean, that, that's, you know, just really fascinating. And of course, um, the Hopi elders talked about singing, uh, singing and producing, uh, kernels of corn that were the size of most men's thumbs. 
The Celestine Prophecy talks about singing to plants to make them grow. Um, you know, the, also along the Hobie traditions, uh, it is said that Grandmother Spider Woman sung sung the web of the universe into existence. In the Judeo Judeo Christian Bible it says in the beginning was the word, meaning was the sound, the sound of God. Um, and the, in fact, the word universe means one song. The word person, person, per song is per song. So everything is based on harmonics, frequencies, uh, uh, and sound. Um, it's just, we see it over and over again. Um, so many of you know of the uh, famous author, Wayne Dyer, who passed away a few years ago. Uh, he talked about sound creation, his sound creation process. And the idea was that you would, you have to think in terms of that you already have it, that it's already yours, that I am that house, I am that million dollars, I am that, or like I like to say, I, I get that million dollars, I get to do that, I get to have that, I get, you know, you, you, you're thinking in terms that it's already there, that you already have it, it's, it's, it's now, I am that. And you have a sincere, sincere appreciation for that, that you already have it. And that it's about developing that knowing that it's already done through you. It's already been through you. It's already been given. And um, then he, if you notice, like, you have Buddha, Krishna, Yogananda, Sai Baba, and uh, Jesus' real name was Yesh, Yeshua or Yeshuva. And all the master's name have that ah sound in it. Ah. Well, they found that when you run the ah sound through an, an oscillator, that it makes the, the geometric pattern called the Siryantra, which is the uh, 27 interlaced triangles uh, that looks like a Mandela. You can Google the Siryantra. It's 27 interlaced triangles. And this is the Hindu symbol for God. And when you do the ah sound, just kind of like based on, again, on Hans Jen's work from Cymatics, you, you see that inner, that, that triangle, the 27 interlaced triangles, and it doesn't kind of look like it. It doesn't, well, maybe if I turn an angle, look like it. No, it makes it, and it makes it time and time again. So that the ah sound is the sound of creation itself. And even like when people orgasm, it's ah, and that's some, there's a variation of that sound. And so um, his idea, his concepts were that you would think of something in terms of already having it, have an appreciation for it, receiving it or allowing it, whatever works for you, and that you would in your uh, energy field, your consciousness, and then you would go, ah. Uh, 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 you know, I mean, you really get into the ah sound, and if you know, it gets really more powerful when you have more people. You know, when you have you, when you have tour in my name, I am there. So, so that that was the whole principle of of, of the sound for manifestation process. It was by Wayne Dyer. Well, for some reason. I didn't really, I didn't really click with me, didn't resonate with me. I mean, all the concepts, the principles I understood, uh, but I, I just, something didn't click with me. And I was trying to think, well, do I just not like it? Sorry, uh, my internet's been crazy all day for some reason. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the vortex or something, but so, um, I just, there was something that didn't resonate with me. There was something that I didn't click. And then all of a sudden it came to me in a dream one night. I woke up, I was like, oh, oh, what if we do it this way? And you'll notice, because if you go, ah, uh, you're projecting it. You almost, you're forcing it, right? It's masculine. You're forcing it. Ah, uh, well, if you change, if you tweak it just a little bit to go, ah. Uh, Oh. 
Oh, that's where it really feels like you're allowing it, that you're relaxing into it. Oh, and I think that, again, and, and the other idea is that usually most people are trained to visualize here, up in the mind. But, and this is another part of what the, you know, the dream I got was that if you would change your visual, visualization from here, but to learn to visualize from your solar plexus to see that, you know, the, the house, the car, the relationship, whatever it is that you want in your solar plexus, because that's where the feeling's at. That's the feeling of, of knowing that it's already been given, knowing that, that, that you are at knowing, knowing that it's already been done. And so if you'd learn to visualize in your solar plexus in the feeling center rather than in your uh, third eye or, or head, and you get that feeling of already having it and a feeling of appreciation for it, and you go into the, ah, uh, you can even project what you want onto that the Siriantra symbol, the 27 interlaced triangles or the flower of life symbol. And you, ah, uh, and you can do that for whatever length of time feels right to you, you know, maybe 10, 12, 15 minutes, maybe longer if you want. And then you, you, you encompass that into like a, a bubble and then you, you release it out into the universe. And again, you know, it's, about letting go of how, you know, that's our biggest block is um, how is it going to happen or doubting that it's going to happen or, 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 you know, because we get so attached to how we think it's supposed to look like. And, and I think the biggest block to this thing called enlightenment is that we get ourselves into trouble when we always go into this thought or idea that my life should be this way rather than accepting it as it is. When you're always comparing your your life to how you think it should be rather than what it is, you, you're really coming from a place of lack and um, a, a struggle and strife. And again, I've said this over and over again for 25 years now, since 1997, is that, you know, my one of my favorite quotes in the Bible is Psalm 139.16, and it says, every day, every action, every deed, every day of my life, was recorded in your book before a single day had passed. I mean, you're, and this is what the Native Americans teach. They teach the same thing, that the truth is your life really can't be in a, any other way because you, this is how you designed it. You, you, you are living the life that you planned before you incarnated here. And so your life is exactly the way that it's supposed to be. And that, it, and when you, you then you, get into more of a greater place of trust, you know, a, a greater place of, of, of knowing, of trusting that, you know, that everything is, everything is okay. Abraham talks about saying that a lot, you know, everything, everything just works out. Everything. That's what my life is just that way. It just works out. So if you learn to play with a little bit of sound frequency and you can shift from going, ah, which is forcing, extending to, Ah, ah, just to relax and allow. I think you'll find that's a really powerful process. Again, it's about, you know, knowing, and that's why you visualize in your solar plexus, not up here in your third eye, in your third eye, because this is what creates the feeling, the knowing that you already have it. And then you have this sincere uh, uh, appreciation for already having it, already receiving it. And then, Ah, oh, just relaxing. And I mean, if you go, ah, or versus, ah, I mean, the difference is night and day. I mean, it feels, I mean, it feels so delicious just to, ah, to relax and allow. And you'll, you'll notice the difference is really uh, night and day in that. And, you know, get a, get up people, some people, you know, four or five people that are of open mind that are very, supportive of each other and see what transforms in your life. But I mean, that's just an example of how uh, sound can be so powerful and empowering your life, you know, uh, from like my, my own vocal toning, like I talked about, 
either in the previous session or, or whatever, um, we saw time and time again, and again, it didn't matter if there was only five people in the room or 500 people in the room, but that tone, that pure tone would go to each individual's greatest point of pain, regardless of the number of people. And it also created real stillness in the body. You know, that's one of the things, like if you have a child that has a, has a hard time sleeping at night, you can tone or you can tone or do the, the alphabet. Uh, e, oh, 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 sorry, my voice. <clears throat> uh, we were real busy at work last night, so voice is nonstop. Uh, e, oh, you can chant out the vowels and you, know, you create, you clear, sound is about clearing the space. Because too often our space is cluttered with what we got to do, what we didn't do, what we should have done, what we got to do tomorrow. You know, it's like the Bible says, it says to be still and know that I am God. Well, that he wasn't talking about himself. He was talking about you, that you are God. Be still and remember that I am God, small g. And, uh, you know, that it's stillness is because that's where the body can really heal itself when the body's still and quiet. You know, that's why they talk about how why REM sleep, dream sleep is so important because that's, you know, that, that real deep space when you're into REM dream sleep, that's when your body regenerates and rejuvenates cells. Yeah, I mean, it's really powerful. So I encourage you to use that, that, that process. Um, it's, you know, just, I just tweaked a little bit, uh, Wayne Dyer's, uh, sound creation process and shifting room, ah, which is forcing masculine to, ah, which is more of the feminine allowing process, which is uh, what, you know, Abraham Hicks has talked about for years, you know, the art of allowing. And again, I apologize about, um, <laughs> I have a brand new computer. In fact, I decided to get a new computer because my old Dell was my old Dell all in one, one of the original tablets, big tablets you could touch. And, you know, after about seven years, it's seen its better days. And then today I don't, you know, I had to uninstall, reinstall a couple of things and then the internet was all over the place. So I do apologize, but it is about 4.30 and that's kind of my, what I have a time frame for. But I hope you use that. Uh, again, blessings, take care, and go at peace and do your best.